Hi babe! Today we're going to be talking about how to read the labels off your favorite treats. So thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Laura Shirell and I'm the founder of Balanced Bombshells, the place to be to learn all about your hormones and how to optimize your health and wellness. So I am a huge chocolate girl, so chocolate is my favorite treat. And so we're going to start by learning how to read the label of a chocolate bar. So Endangered Species, this dark cocoa bar is my absolute favorite and I'm going to tell you why. So I like the darkest form of chocolate that I can get. So I don't focus on milk chocolate, it spikes my insulin levels too much and can really throw off our hormones and our gut health and our mood, all that stuff. But when we focus on really dark chocolate, so I really focus on 85% or higher and this one is 88%. And the cacao is such a mood boosting substance for us. So if you know like PMS period, women are craving chocolate because it boosts our mood, it makes us feel good. And it's also loaded with magnesium. So we get that calming euphoric sense wash over our body. So you don't have to give up chocolate to balance your hormones. Like I honestly eat this um, either like a few pieces a day after lunch or um, at certain parts of my cycle so definitely right before I'm having my period and during and I really try to focus on eating it um, by no later than lunch because it does contain caffeine so if I have it after dinner I find that I might be a little bit more stimulated um, that's just me I'm really sensitive to caffeine so you may, well, may be able to enjoy this after dinner or a meal and be completely fine um, but to read this so I use dark chocolate as a form of one of my healthy fats that I'll have throughout the day and so I really like this one because of the fiber sugar and protein content that it has so for fiber, there's six grams of fiber in a serving in this bar. So not the whole thing, the serving, which is half the bar. Six grams of fiber, which is really great for stabilizing our blood sugar. And then for sugars, there's five grams of sugar. So if I'm gonna be eating sugar, I'd really try to focus on having it as low as possible. So in terms of chocolate bars and how this go, it's really low. So I, when I'm reading a food label on a chocolate bar, if it's any higher than five, I put it back on the shelf and I really focus on five or under. And then the protein content is four grams of sugar in this. And so that can make you feel really good because you're like, okay, I'm eating fiber, I'm getting some protein in here, I'm getting a little bit of sugar, but not too much, especially when you're not eating too much sugar. I feel like everything in moderation is okay. That's why we're balanced bombshells. Everything in moderation is okay. And then what I also really like about this um, bar is that it doesn't have fake sugars. So some chocolate bars will be like, oh, you know, really low in sugar, but they're containing all these fake sugars, which can actually throw off our appetite hormones, which make us feel hungrier than we actually are later in the day and get us interested in food when we're not actually hungry. So we really wanna make sure that we, we have those hormones in check because we don't wanna be eating when we're not necessarily hungry because then our bodies don't need that. So I really like that there aren't fake sugars in here. Um, and then our next one that we're going to read is some snack bars. Um, so this is the same type of thing as this. So anytime you're reading your snacks, like really focus on the fiber and protein content, making sure you've got some in there and that, that the sugar content is low. And so the same one goes into these snack bars. So these are snack bars by 22 Days Nutrition and they're really clean protein. Um, they're all plant-based and they have brown rice, they have some fiber in here. So you've got some coconut oil, so you've got your healthy fats in here. And what I, in the servings in one bar, and like of course these are chocolate, like we're just having a chocolate day. And um, it has a, like a lot of iron in here because um, chocolate also has iron in it. So it's really helpful for us for us when we're menstruating. So our bodies lose iron when we have our period. So it's really fun and good to have um, extra food in our diet that we're then getting that iron from. So you can also find that in grass-fed beef and there's just so many other sources where you can get iron in your diet. But this has um, nine grams of fiber in it. It has 15 grams of protein. So these are protein bars. And then the sugar content is four grams. So it's under that five grams. And then it has a really good fiber and protein ratio. So this is something that I would eat either, you know, mid morning or an afternoon snack, depending on what else I was eating throughout the day. 
Um, they're really great to bring on hikes. They have a bunch of different flavors that you can try out. But these are just of my staples for reading food labels and how I focus on the protein and fiber content and then making sure that the sugar is really low. And if they are using sugar, it's more natural forms of it so we're not um, falsely throwing off our appetite hormones. So these are just a quick tip on how to read some of our favorite you know, snacks and treats that we can have throughout the day. And thank you for joining me on this episode and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.